Hello Internet, welcome back to our Cataclysm tutorial series. In the last episode we got our Humvee back to the base, which is a really great step in uh, moving forward in the game because having vehicles are very, very important. Now, I did have someone in my comments say, uh, because we discussed basically this is a diesel engine, and someone said, uh, I had remarked about how I would rather have a gasoline engine. A lot of times I will take diesel out of a vehicle and put a gasoline engine in instead. And I had someone comment and say, hey, why, why don't you just do that? You know, we went out looking for diesel, but why don't you just swap the engine out? That way you can give a tutorial on how you would do such a thing. And that's that's a great idea, Internet. You really helped me out there. So what we're going to be doing is in this episode, we're going to talk about the difference between jacking and lifting. It's going to be a short episode where we discuss lifting tools. And then uh, in the coming episodes, we're going to go out and replace this engine. Uh, because if it's something you've never done before, it can be a little imposing and it will give us a chance to talk about alternators as well. So for now, let's talk about jacking and lifting. We discussed, because um, they are two different things, uh, it's something that previously gave people a lot of trouble when that was implemented. People really did not understand the difference. And we've talked about jacking for the purposes of changing our tires, and that's really the only time that you use jacking. So if we try to remove this tire, we get this uh, message here that says we require a tool with jacking uh, a quality of 11 or we need 549 strength. Some things you will be able to do, um, basically everything has this attached to it. It will require some amount of um, strength. Uh, it will either require jacking or lifting or a strength um, uh, that is comparable. So for something simple like removing a car battery, it has a very low requirement for removal because it's not a very large item. For tires, we require a jacking quality um, because we're lifting the full weight of the vehicle up off of the tire so that we're capable of removing the tire just like you would in real life. And again, jacking is 100% dependent on the, the weight of the vehicle, um, which is why we require jacking of 11. If we remember from our jacking talk, uh, each quality of jacking or jacking talk... Oh, I don't want to give you a jacking tutorial. Uh, uh, each quality of jacking is roughly 1,100 pounds. So uh, in order to lift a 1,200 pound vehicle, we need a quality of 11. So that's, that's really it for jacking. Jacking is a very specific quality that's really only used for changing tires. If there's something else in the game that requires jacking, please leave me a comment down below because I don't believe I've ever seen it. And because then people can look at the comments and say, okay, well, it also is used for this. Now, lifting is, is different. Lifting is, whereas jacking is jacking the vehicle up off of the ground, lifting is actually used to lift heavy objects. So if we go to our engine, uh, it's going to tell us we can't do it because of the alternator. But if we wanted to remove the engine, uh, it would require a tool with lifting of 1, or we would need to have a strength of 25. Each component in the game um, that we insert into the vehicle, you'll see here the alternator has it. The car battery has it. I don't think frames frames and stuff also have it. Depending on the size of the component, it will require either a lifting tool or a higher strength. You'll see the heavy duty frame is bigger and therefore requires a higher strength than the car battery uh, or the alternator. So lifting is used to lift heavy objects or to lever items off of the ground, whereas jacking is about picking up the vehicle enough that you can actually work with the tires. So lifting, you'll see it's almost always lifting quality of one. There really isn't a lot of range to lifting. Uh, it pretty much is either you have it or you don't. Um, it's not something that you're going to want to make a crane. A crane is the easiest way to do this. There are certain things that absolutely require lifting that you'll never have the strength to do. Um, can we ever lift? What What is the requirement on our engine? To lift our engine, we would require strength of 25. So engines and uh, what oh, storage batteries are the two components that you will most of the time be using lifting for. Engines obviously are very large, very heavy. I'm willing to bet if we look at this little car, we probably still can't lift the engine, but it's probably a lot easier to do. We may even be able to do it. I don't know how small this vehicle actually is. It's a thousand pounds. I don't know. The engine might be removable by hand. Where, where in God's name is the engine? In the rear, because of course it is. Um, so here we have a small engine. It requires strength 13, which is much more attainable. 
A lot of times when I create my characters, I do bump their strength up to 13 because strength is the most important factor. Um, so we could potentially get strength one day that would let us lift this engine. But for bigger trucks and things, you're going to need a uh, lifting tool. Similarly, storage batteries are basically car batteries, except they're these huge industrial... Like a car battery is a... You can picture probably a car battery. It's... Um, I mean, I don't know what to compare its size to, but it's handheld. It's something you can easily pick up with your hands. A storage battery is like a large industrial battery. It's often compared when people talk about it in the Discord and stuff to the Tesla battery, which is something that occupies almost the entire frame of the vehicle. It's a very large industrial battery because, of course, Tesla needs huge battery storage to power a car. Um, so certain vehicles that have solar panels will often have storage batteries, which are enormous capacity batteries that are very big and unwieldy. So most of the time when you're doing vehicle work and you need lifting, it's for changing an engine or it's for mounting and unmounting storage batteries. So in general, a crane of some sort is something you kind of want to keep in the back of your vehicle in case you're on the road and your engine gets destroyed, which is very, very unlikely. Uh, or you come across a vehicle that has storage batteries that you want to put into your vehicle, it's good to have a crane on hand. So why don't we make ourselves a crane? If we go inside to where our recipe books are, we will have more recipes available to us. We'll go to the search menu or the craft menu, search it, and we're going to go quality, which is the lowercase q, colon, lift. We have nothing with lifting. That can't be right. Telescopic. Yeah, right here. Uh... Why, um, oh, because it doesn't have a quality attached to it because it's a vehicle part, right? Okay, so a telescopic cantilever is the one that you will use most of the time. The reason it did not show up when we searched for quality of lifting is because this is just an item. The item does not have a lifting quality because it has to be installed in a vehicle to work. Once it's installed, it will have the lifting quality. So that's why we weren't able to search that. So I guess, unfortunately, if you don't know what the you know what tools have it and what tools don't you could be struggling a little bit to find this the telescopic cantilever is the one that i make 99 percent of the time it's the most common one because it is pretty easily craftable you'll see it only requires some tools as well as a welder we have all of this we can source pipes and wires very easily in our current situation, sometimes it can be a little tricky to find wires. The most reliable place to find them are these chain link fences, um, which you can smash for both pipes and wires. But sometimes you can't find a chain link fence. It can be a little annoying, but mostly it's not a big deal. So we're going to make the telescopic cantilever. I'm not sure where we left our welder. Where, where would we have left our welder? It's in our inventory, but our batteries are not. We must have set them out for charging. It is partially charged. That's enough charge to build the cantilever. Why don't we go up here and source some materials? Give me wield. I mean, I normally would not recommend bashing with a wrench because it can be damaged. Um, my computer's a little sluggish today. I apologize. I've been playing a lot of, uh, of games and probably should have restarted. Uh, this is not working for me. Catch our breath, ignore. Oh, heard a ton of things die down there. Sounds like a big mass of zombies resurrected and then we're gunned down by the robot. Did that say, what did that message say? I'm not damaging it. You finish waiting, no. So we are damaging it, it's potentially breakable. There we go. Okay, you'll see we got four pipes and 11 wires. Ignore, we'll grab these as well because we need more uh, wires than pipes. Actually. Basically, the way this works, when you smash the chain link fence, first you will smash it. It will leave behind a post item, and it will drop wires. If you then smash the post item, it will give you pipes. So we, we now have enough pipes and wires, so we'll head back to base here. Get back to wielding the spear. I don't like being out without a weapon in my hands. No, don't, don't, step, don't step in pits, ladies and gentlemen. Come down here. We'll quickly build a cantilever. Uh, which we never reloaded our welder. Reload welder. Cantilever. So we will make this cantilever again. This is just going to create the item. It's not going to install it on a vehicle for us, obviously. Dispose, store an inventory. So make the cantilever. This will take a little bit of time. It's um, 
a te- I mean, it's telescopic. So what that means is that it can collapse in on itself. And this is really valuable because we can put this on a folding metal frame and then collapse the entire crane so that we can carry it with us when we go places. So here we have the cantilever in our hands. Let's go outside and drop this. Drop the cantilever. And we're going to want a frame. Uh, we're not going to be using the little car, so we can go ahead and steal a frame from the little car here. If we can find a good spot for one. Go ahead and give me the door. You give frames, don't you, door? Any second now. Sorry, again, everything's a little sluggish. So here we have a steel frame. We haven't talked about building a vehicle from scratch. So here we have this crane, but it's not actually a crane. It's not installed on anything. It's just the item. So if I try to grab this and move it around, we can't grab it. Um, if we come close to the vehicle, it does not count as a lifting tool. So if we go to remove our engine, it's not currently available to us. You'll see we don't have a tool with lifting. So in order to make use of this crane, we have to actually create a new vehicle. Oh, we did not want a steel frame, actually. We want a foldable frame which we'll have to make from scratch. How do we make a foldable frame? So we're gonna to go to our crafting menu, fold, and we're looking for this uh, foldable light frame. Basically, regular frames in the game are welded pieces um, of a vehicle, but we can create, or of something, like you can make wooden frames, which are not obviously a part of a vehicle, but can be used as such. A foldable light frame on the other hand, is something that's constructed of pipe and I thought wire, and basically it's foldable. You can collapse it from being a deployed frame and we can collapse that into a carryable state so that we can pick it up and use it. Because most of the time, so for instance, this um, shopping cart is a vehicle. If we were out and about and we wanted to take this with us, we can't actually pull it into the vehicle. It collides with the Humvee. Now there are bike racks where you can mount vehicles to your other vehicles but i i never mess with those um so we can't take this shopping cart with us but if we installed instead of a light frame if we had a, a collapsible frame a, a foldable frame and instead of a shopping cart basket we had a folding basket we could then fold this item up uh, this vehicle up into an item which we could then pick up the item and place it into our vehicle so that's what we're looking for with this frame because it's telescopic it can be collapsed because the frame is foldable. It can be collapsed and therefore we can pick it up and hold it in our hands and carry it around wherever we want. So we're going to come inside and make a foldable frame, foldable, uh, light frame. We're short on pipes. Give me a better smashing weapon if we're going to be doing this. Uh, so give me the home wrecker back because trying to smash with a wrench is obviously we saw that that did not go very well. Again, the higher your bash, the more likely you are to succeed when you smash things. So this should be much, much faster and easier. So we'll come up here and gather more pipes. You see, we only got one pipe. It is worth noting that you can also deconstruct these. Um... Oh, can you not? Someone told me you could. Well, whatever. We're just going to smash it uh, and we'll get enough pipes eventually. Weird. It's only giving me one pipe. The last couple gave me more uh, than one pipe. Ignore more shooting so that's not good uh i mean i guess it doesn't really matter too much there we got three pipes so we should have enough pipes now we'll come back and we'll make ourselves a foldable frame uh frame foldable light frame go ahead and make this really quick this should be much faster so now we have a foldable frame now we have the two components that we need in order to make our crane so what we're going to do is go into the construction menu again. This is the asterisk key, the shift eight key. Someone did comment recently and said, hey, all of your key bindings are different from my key bindings. Um, but then they also pointed out that they live in like Finland or something. I actually don't remember. I'm sorry. I don't remember what you said uh, where you lived. But as far as I know, these are all standardized controls for the English or American keyboard, the QWERTY keyboard. Um, this is when we talk to people on the discord, we give them these instructions. I've seen other people say, oh, just press, you know, asterisk for the construction menu. So I know that these are like the default for, for us. I don't know about, um, being location dependent. So I'm sorry about that, but we're going to open the construction menu and we're going to look for start vehicle construction vehicle. 
This is what you will use anytime you're starting a vehicle from scratch. Obviously, if we were working off of an existing vehicle, we would not do this. We would, um, this is creating a separate entity from a existing vehicle. So we're going to use this to create our crane. So we're going to go start vehicle construction. You'll see it requires certain frames. Uh, and because I'm not sure if it will prompt me, I'm actually going to move this steel frame out of here. And we're going to go ahead and drop this frame over here. That way it's not even available. That way I, I don't accidentally use the wrong frame. So start vehicle construction and we will put it, I don't know, here. You'll see it consumes the frame and then it prompts us for a new name. We'll call this uh, Frasier because it's a crane, of course. Um, and here we have basically a vehicle. Uh, we can now grab this and move this around because it's now a vehicle. It's no longer an item. Now we will install our crane onto this frame. So we will go to install and you'll see one of the only things we have available to us is the telescopic crane. That's because we have the cantilever, which is displayed here. Um, apparently it also has a jacking quality, which I did not know, but that's, that's fine. And it has a lifting quality of seven, which again, you're never really going to see a lifting quality that high. I've never encountered an item that large. So we'll go ahead and install this. It's going to take a little bit of time, but it shouldn't take too, too long. Again, my computer is moving a little slow, so a lot of these five-minute ticks are taking a long time. We now have a vehicle that is just a frame and a crane. Uh, now, a lot of people would put casters on this. A caster, if you don't know, is just a wheel that swivels. It's what's on, uh, I mean, probably your office chair that you're sitting in right now on shopping carts, those wheels that pivot around that center um, that, that can spin. Uh, so most people would put casters on this. You don't actually have to do that. We can drag the frame around. Um, it will make more noise, I believe. So like if you're dragging this through the city, it's going to make more noise than if you had um, a vehicle with, with casters on it. Because obviously something with wheels is a lot quieter than something that's scraping along the asphalt, digging gouges in the asphalt. That said, this is all we really need. So we'll grab this. Now, if we come to the front of our vehicle and we attempt to remove our engine, you'll see we have a tool with lifting quality of at least one. So now we can lift this out of the vehicle. Now, really important to note is that when you try to install things in the vehicle, the crane does not work the same way. So like if we let's let's grab this crane, grab crane. Yes. Pull the crane over to this side. And if we were trying to, can we remove the engine from here? We cannot. And the reason for this is that even though we have the lifting tool right next to us, it is not near enough to where the actual item is installed. So on a welder, for instance, let's say we wanted to repair our quarter panel. We have the welder in our inventory. It doesn't matter where on the vehicle it is, as long as we're interacting, even if we're way down in this corner and we try to repair something up here, we will still be able to repair it. But for the purposes of lifting, you actually have to be close to what you're installing or uninstalling. So we cannot uninstall from this corner of the vehicle. We have to bring the crane as close. Why does it keep saying there's nothing to grab? Okay. Keep, uh, we have to uh, bring the crane close enough to where the engine is actually installed in order to remove it. This is a source of some frustration and confusion for new players. People will pick up a storage battery, they'll come to this side of their vehicle, they'll have their crane right next to them, and they'll try to install the, sol the uh, battery in the center of the vehicle. And they'll say, well, I don't understand. Why can't I install in the center of the vehicle? I have the crane right next to me. I have all the materials. Can you help me? I don't understand. I hear that question all the time. And the answer is that this tile is too far away uh, in order to, if the crane is here, it is not close enough to install in the center of the vehicle. Now we can remedy that by stepping into the vehicle and pulling the crane even closer. Um, and we would then be able to install right here. But when you build big old vehicles, um, you will not always have doors at the sides of your vehicle. So sometimes you will have to uninstall one of these panels in order to drag the crane that much closer and get to the center of the vehicle. So that is a point of frustration for some people, myself included. It can be a little annoying, um, but it's not that big of a deal. Now, if we try to put our crane again into the vehicle, it will not allow us to do so. Uh, it collides. We could install a bike mount and mount the frame to that, but I've never done that, so I don't know how that works. 
But since we made it a foldable item, we can actually examine the vehicle with the E key and it will say fold vehicle. And then we can fold that and you'll see it changes the vehicle from a vehicle. We can no longer grab it and it converts it into an item. So we can now pick this up and just drop this into our trunk to take with us. So that is the benefit of carrying, uh, of making something foldable or unfoldable vehicles. Um, Cause now we can take the frame anytime we need the frame. We just pop out here, we activate the crane and look at that, it's a, it's a it's crane again. We can then shift to installing and uninstalling things. So that is the main function of lifting. There are some other benefits to lifting. Uh, if I come down here, let's grab this steel frame. We'll head inside really quick. Uh, don't we have an ant? Yeah, give me the anvil as well. Uh, and if we look in our inventory, you'll see our current load is 264 pounds, which is, all, is double the threshold of what we can comfortably carry. So if we move around with this weight on our inventory, you'll see that we're slowly losing stamina. Um, which can be problematic. So as we move, we get uh, lower and lower stamina, uh, and then over time it will cause us problems. However, if we are in range of a lifting tool and we open our inventory, uh, okay, grab the lifting tool, open our inventory, uh, it, apparently it doesn't change the numbers, but as long as we're near a lifting tool, it will function as something that is aiding us in lifting this weight. So if we wait to get our stamina back, we keep the lifting tool with us and we move around. It should, no, it's still removing my stamina. Was that removed from the game? One of the other main purposes of the lifting tool was to allow you to lift very heavy things without consequence, but I guess maybe that was removed um, because it's uh, it's still draining my stamina. I don't know why that's happening. Okay, never mind then. I was going to teach you about using that as a, a tool to lift very heavy objects and carry them around, but that doesn't seem to work anymore, uh, which is disappointing. Why, why would that not work? Hello, Internet. This is me as the editor. Uh, we were discussing how to carry heavy things using a lifting quality. That was my mistake. It's actually not things that are in your inventory. It's only things that are wielded in your hand. So if we were, for instance, trying to carry 10 anvils, we would wield them in our hands and then the lifting quality of the tool near us would aid us in lifting that so it would not cause us to lose stamina. In this video, I was trying to do it with those things in my inventory. That's why that was not working. And I just wanted to pop in and vocalize that because usually I would put that in text on the screen, but a lot of people miss that and then I get comments about it. So um, if you're carrying heavy things, you need to be wielding them in your hands to carry these heavy objects. Then if you are next to a lifting tool, it will aid you in that lifting. So uh, that's what I was trying to say, trying to illustrate, uh, and I'm just going to jam this in there. I don't know if it'll line up great with dialogue, but uh, that's that's what was going on there. I don't know why that wouldn't work. Okay. Well, then that's it for lifting, I guess. Sorry about that. Uh, I don't know when that changed because it used to be that you could pick up tons and tons of weight as long as you had a uh, lifting tool nearby. It was very handy for moving large numbers of frames uh, in your inventory before hauling was implemented, lifting was implemented. So it was like before you could haul things, you would have to um, use a lifting tool. So that's weird. But anyway, that's going to do it. Hopefully you understand the difference between jacking and lifting. And we will see this in practice as we replace our engine. But for now, uh, I just wanted to talk about it conceptually. So for now, that's it. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I will be back with more Cataclysm tutorial content in the near future. I'll see you next time.